This is one kind of the cable chain machine, which is built up in our workshop. First station, the polar. Perforation station. This is the leveling unit. And here is the perforation for button. And this is the waste pouch. And there it will come to the looper to forming machine. This is cut off. Run out conveyor. And let's check the line from the input part. The first station is the decola unit. And it seems this customer already have some hydraulic decola in his hand. Instead of the taking the container, uh, take the decola from us, we have applied for this kind of simple manual decola for testing. But actually, what I recommended here is good to take the hydraulic decola instead of this kind of the manual decola. And then the strip will go through to the perforation station. On this perforation station, we have this leveling unit with servo feeding. And this is driven by servo motor. And the brand is kind of Chinese brand, but this is the top brand from China. This is the leveling and servo feeding unit. And then we go through to the perforation die. This is kind of the punching needle. Um, so let's see about this is what we have of the preparation. And this part is good for waste. Then the waste is we build up this kind of the uh, gantry type. This two needle will do this side and this will be the side. And this unit can move on the rail to adapt itself to different widths of the stream. And in this station, we have completely hydraulic pump as well as electrical cabinet. So this is the perforation station together with the decola unit. And it's well suggested that we will have some looper to make the street storage. This will also help the line working in high speed. We can get more effective product productivity. Thank <laughs> you.
As we have suggested, we can make some looper to storage the coil material and the wild sheet go through to the forming machine. And since the forming machine show adapt the, to the different widths and height, so this machine is built up with automatically width changeable like this and this is the button the pillar stands will move on the rail and here the sheet will go through to the formula line station we can follow the camera and to see What's the difference? How we form the shape? Okay, and while the profile reaches the two cutting unit and here is the roller type run out table so somehow this is the completely line and the, the transmission of the forming machine is double chain And here is the cabinet.
Firstly, firstly, it's all about the cable tree samples which we have produced from the machine. This is kind of like a perforated button and the waist. This is the side way. And here is the button. The thickness of the sheet is two millimeter. The material is galvanized. The width of the cable tree is 300. The height is 100. And uh, here is the workpiece, which is cut through from the machine. Uh, actually, we have some problem with this material uh, because the input width actually for this one shall be like 515, but the strips, the width is almost up to 518 or 519, a little bit not accurate. So it makes some problem on the machine, like this kind of lips cannot go through the cutting die. So what we have seen is a little bit like expanded, not perfect. We have to admit it due to the required material widths. The profile is not good enough, but we have checked the, the perforation accurate, uh, this kind of the distance or every distance we have checked it. It's good enough according to the drawing. So this is kind of the multiple cutting die. So this is the completely a uh, cable tree machine, which is built up in our workshop in December 2022. And we can see this is sort of the chain transmission and we have applied double chain. The machine capacity is up to 2 mm and we used two motors. One is 11 kW, another one is 7.5. This is the complete review of the line.